Hi guys, today I'm starting a new series called Rail Cars Explained, in which I talk about different unique rail cars. Our first episode is about the Transition Sleeper Superliner. Due to the success of the original Superliner equipment, which proved popular with customers and boosted Amtrak's image as a modern, progressive railroad, the company placed a $340 million order for 140 additional Superliner 2 cars in 1991, which was later increased to 195 cars. Constructed by Bombardier at plants in La Pocatière, Quebec and Barry, Vermont, the cars were intended to add capacity and replace heritage equipment on the Capital Limited, Auto Train and City of New Orleans. The Superliner 2 order added a sixth car type, a transition sleeper slash dormitory, to the Superliner fleet. As its name indicates, it acts as a transition between bi-level and single-level passenger cars. Therefore, one end door is high and the other low. Most of these cars have a mixture of crew and dormitory rooms and passenger roomettes on the upper level, crew workspace on the lower level, and public restrooms and showers on both levels.